and take a shot at the clubhouse as we approach. I want to show you that leashy that I really like. Want to hold that bad boy up? Oh, yeah, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Man, that thing shoots like no tomorrow. And he wants to look good shooting a gun. Well, I want to look good <laughs> actually shooting. <laughs> I'd love. Okay, and we're going to do this through the scope, through the cam. You all know how I feel about that, but we're going to give it a try and see how we do. Our first setting is 0.5R on the tuner. Two point five R. Four point seven five L.
and we'll go see how we did. And point five R did all right. Not that happy with it. Five R did pretty good as a confirm. And point five L did pretty good as a confirm. I think I'm surprised at four point seven five L. You probably heard the wind kick up. 5R. I think that'll be my setting. Hey everybody. Now we're in the uh, scoring room and today was a good day of shooting. It was a little windy but not enough to really bother me at 50 yards which is where I always tune and the two shot cards you you probably noticed in the film that I was using the Gen 6 Swan Tuner and with the Gen 6 on this particular barrel kit I ended up with one two three four five six seven eight groups that were sub half MOA at 50 yards and that's pretty good. With the Gen 5 tuners, we were used to seeing maybe three or four groups that were uh, sub MOA. So the Gen 6 is doing a better job with tuning. It's giving me more to choose from. And that's why I developed the best of the best groups shot card so that we can put these and determine on that card which is the best. Let me bring that up here real quick. Here we go. And 5.0R was the best. As a matter of fact, Take a look at it. That came in at center to center 0 0.153 inches. And that's damn good. Um, can't ask for much better than that. So, um, you got to look at the best of the best of the best group shoot off card why it's used and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time